I am Zenbach, and I am at Chilla Theater, and I'm with a person named Linda, mm -hmm. Linda Lovelace. Linda, first question I want to ask, um, a friend of mine asked me to ask this question, is where did the name come from? Actually, Jerry Zamiano came up with that name. Okay. Yeah. So, yeah. It was his own creation. Okay. So uh, that was just a question, you know. Uh -huh. um, what I wanted to ask you is some questions about comedy. Um, just some of the things in, in the humor of, of, of things you've said and, and the little bit that I've seen have interested me in, in, in the humor. Um, you, you always had a sense of humor about things? Yeah, I think so. Yeah. I think survival. Survival. Have, you know, you have to have a sense of humor. <laughs> really? Yeah. Yeah. Have you, um, oh, I, I don't know, done anything as far as comedy at all, a chance to, on just a pure comedy level? I did a play, but it ended up closing. Well, that's all right. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah, what it was, was that about? About a week. Yeah. Um, the, I forget the name of the first one. I never even remember the first one. Pajama Tops. Pajama Tops. Pajama. And then there was the one with Babette Latouche. Mm -hmm. and then that was Pajama Tops. And she was also in uh, My Daughter's Rated uh, X. Yeah. yeah, My Daughter's Rated X. All right, well, if the, if the, if the play closed in a week, then obviously, it, well, yeah, but that's not, that's not on you. That's, that's on the people that apply, obviously. I don't know. Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. And who do I have to my right here? Your left. My name is Eric Danville, and I've uh, just put out a book called The Complete Linda Lovelace. The and Complete. The Complete Linda Lovelace, and Linda has a hell of a sense of humor. Yeah, well, I've picked that up on, on that, and you, you know, I, I've never seen anybody that, that can, just in a tone and, and, a, and a raise of an eye and come up with a line, I, I just, you know, I just couldn't phantom that you wouldn't be doing comedy, you know, or have done it. You, you say survival, but um, I don't know if you've ever, you know, actually pursued it in, in the film or earlier films. No? Well, the president was kind of a, I mean, I was trying to be all in the family with all its political incorrectness. And, you know, some of your stuff was really good in that, I thought, you know. Some of the lines that weren't incredibly goofy, you know. Would you run for president? Well, really, my lines, though. Would you, would, you, would you run for president? Would I run for president? Yeah, sure. declaring your nomination for president right now. Right now. You see, you would, have had my, you would have had my vote. No, no. The country could, could use somebody. Yeah. So if, while we're talking politics, we have this person named Hillary running in... Uh, out in the New York area, so you know, you think the New York is ready for for Hillary? I know. Are you? <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. I know. It's a strange thing. So you're working on a on a book. This is a, a mm -hmm. second book, or mm -hmm. along with Eric on his book, The Complete Linda Lovelace. Yeah. yeah. So she was she was nice enough to to give me her uh, her first interview with someone who works in the adult mo uh, magazine industry in uh, in twenty. About 25 years, you yeah. know. But she was very cool with it, and she's and she's all right in the magazine. Stuff. In the magazine. And she's in the new issue of Leg Show magazine also. Her first photo layout in an adult magazine in 25 years, to show you exactly how cool and what a great sense of humor she has. I asked her. I was kind of just joking around when I asked her if she would do it. I, I did it on behalf of the editor Diane Hansen, who's a wonderful person who's probably around here somewhere. Thank God, nylon <laughs> <laughs> And I just sort of did it as a joke, and I was like, you know would you pose for Like Show? And she said, yeah, sure. And I was like, very surprised. And we spoke about it some more, and, and, uh, and she was up for it like that, you know? I, th I think the people's biggest misconception about Linda is that she's prudish, that she's repressed, that she's no fun, and that she's in favor of censorship, you know? And it's nothing could be further from the truth. I, I don't know, because the, thing, the things I, I heard didn't fit to me, you know? Somebody told me you were a born-again Christian. Yeah, yeah, I, I know. Can, can you, can you, I, I have Born Again Christians between my TV show. My show starts off with me singing My Mother Was a Pagan. So they're not too fond of me. Sorry about that out there. You know, but, but I guess they, you could say that you're not a born again. You're not seven days in... in no. no. I think they get that mostly from... Because, in the, you know, like in Ordeal, I'll talk about how the only friend during that time to me right. was God because he's the only one I could talk to that wouldn't run to train her and tell him what was going on. So right. I think they've made that deduction from just that one statement. So, so are you the type with the religion is, is a personal thing? No, to me, it, but my religion is a way of life. Like people ask me if I'm Christian, I was like, I'm not a Catholic, I'm not a Catholic, I'm not a Protestant, I'm a Christian human being and I don't go out to her deliberately hurt another human being. So right. it's just a way of life for me. It's not a you know, a religion. So right. To speak. So it's that's why I was saying it's between you and creator type of thing, yeah. or you know, yeah, 
you know, not so much the organized, right. um, you not know. Not so much the like hypocrites, as far as I'm concerned. Right. I know they don't like to hear that, but, you know. Well, <laughs> you know, there's a lot of people that come up with, quote, the set of values they say that people should follow, and they're probably the last ones to go out and do it. Yeah, you got that right. You know. Mm -hmm. um, so, so how does it feel to be doing something new in a leg show? I'm a leg man, so, you know, I'll check that <laughs> out later. It actually feels pretty good. Yeah? Yeah. 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 It does. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So, you got a... a to see the reaction of a lot of people. It's going to be interesting, but, you know. Well, the, you, you, clothing soon, Linda Lovelace clothing? Yeah, I'm, I'm completely dressed in all these. Yeah. Well, I'm talking about a clothing well, line. Well, yeah. First, I'm going to do a uh, Linda, website. Linda, Linda, Linda. I got a kitty show here. All right. No, first, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> first, I'm going to do a website, and then eventually, I would like to get into some kind of uh, intimate apparel. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. Well, it's time is right. Time well, is right. Well, well, so, so how, <laughs> so how was Linda to write a book on? Um, fascinating. Fascinating. Just finding the amount of stuff that was out there about her. Um, a big part of the book, like the, the front section is, uh, which I actually had to whittle down because I only have so many pages to work with. Um, I had like about 250 articles written about her and a bunch of magazine appearances and, and a whole bunch of stuff that I found. And uh, it's, it's amazing what people have said and written and thought about her over the years and how far that is really from the truth. And the last part of the book is the interview that we did together. And that I, I think kind of like shows that a lot of those people were very, very much off base. You know, it's funny, but in some ways, people go out and they start a trend or a, an industry or a style or a, a different concept way far ahead of what was going on. And people perceive the strangest things from, from, from what one does. Uh, I did a, a, a TV show with a couple of girls they call Scream Queens, and the, they joke on my show about being my reincarnated ex-wives. I have email from people out there that, that ask me about all these wives. I mean, for real. You know, and it, it, just, it just amazes me, the perception of people. So do you have anything you wish to be doing? Anything new? I mean, within what you're doing with the book? And, uh, no, not no, really. No? no? Just take it one day at a time. One day I at a time. The, I do want to get the uh, web page going and, and go ahead with that lingerie. Really? Yeah. I think it's a great idea. And so Linda has a website coming up. Yes, her website is going to be www.lindalovelace.net. Dot net. Yes, because some cyber squatters have stolen her name for the dot com, and we're on the tack of getting that back for her, too. All right, so you should be a dot net. We'll think of net lace or something like yeah, that. Yeah, That's right. all. We'll make it work. Fishnet, yeah. yeah, fishnet. <laughs> well, Linda, I appreciate your time. You've got a, people want to talk to you, and I'm glad that you've done a convention. Yeah. I've, I've actually wanted to interview you a long time, mm -hmm. and um, for some strange reason, I would be out someplace east, and... I'd find out we cross paths. Maybe Western. <laughs> East. No, oh, yeah. Yeah. yeah we, have, we have crossed. But I thank you for your time. You're thank welcome. you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, have a good one. You too. My pleasure. My pleasure. Thank you. Thanks a lot. Thank you.